Hi there! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Kay and today we're going to talk about Tarot's major arcana, the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune, this card has a lot going on. The Wheel of Fortune is ruled by the planet Jupiter and Jupiter is all about expansion and good fortune and progression. The card represents opportunity and change. It represents that we humans live in this life, this physical life that is filled with changes and ups and downs, peaks and valleys, choices, opportunities. We have free will so we can choose how we react or act or what we want to do, what we want to be. Those, that wheel in the center, you see that it has three different hubs, an outer, a middle, and a center. So the different hubs, and even looking at the borders, each of those hubs and borders represent the wheel that turns and spins, and not always in the same direction. So with the Wheel of Fortune, we're reminded that life is filled with opportunities and choices, decisions to make for the good or the bad. And we can find ourselves in life with wheels spinning all around us and sometimes feel a little bit overwhelmed. When this card comes up, there's usually a lot of change going on or opportunities coming into the querent's life um, for change. And also it's the number 10. So when you think about numerology, and the number 10 represents the end of cycles and beginning of new cycles. It is an opportunity to jump into the new cycle. So kind of the goal or the challenge with the Wheel of Fortune is that when we find ourselves with a very busy world and things are moving in all kinds of directions all at once, rather than get overwhelmed and begin to react to everything, it's best if we can put ourselves in the center of that wheel because in the center, that is where it's quiet. That is where it's not chaotic. And that means going within, going within and listening to our own inner stillness and finding our own wisdom. The Wheel of Fortune, it's also the fire element. It can be very active. You know, fire can burn and create purity or fire can be destructive. So the Wheel of Fortune, it is, kind of telling us that we have free will and that to maintain an equilibrium within this universe of so many changes and things happening and going on, other humans free willing around as we are free willing, um, there's just a lot of potential for becoming uh, overwhelmed and, and trying to grab onto each part of the wheel that's moving in different directions. That does us no good. So when this card comes up, it's exciting for the querent. And I also, depending on the cards around how this falls, you know, want to sometimes caution to take a little breath, you know, take a step back pause before making a decision. When we're in the Wheel of Fortune energy, we can feel uh, spontaneous or even sporadic. So it's important for us to take that breather, do the best we can to center ourselves. Now, when you look at the four corners, you notice in the upper right-hand corner, we see the eagle. And in the left-hand corner, we see an angel. And then below, we see um, a bull and then a lion. So these four symbols in the corners represent the four fixed signs of the zodiac. And they also represent the four elements. So we have the lion as fire, and the bull as the earth, the eagle as water, and that angel as air. You know, we've got four corners, we've got four directions, we have four seasons, we have four fixed elements and the wheel in the middle just letting us know that we are part of this that's going on physically uh, mentally emotionally and spiritually we're all part of this wheel and where we choose to place ourselves in the wheel is very important choose free will right so the snake coming down that is typhon and represents um evil 
coming into manifestation. And then we see Anubis rising on the other side, ever rising to evolve the self, to um, ascend. And at the top we have the Sphinx. Well, that Sphinx is the observer, is the witness. Maybe the beginning, maybe the end. But that's what I see when I look at the Wheel of Fortune. I really like this card. It typically, coming up in a reading, can tell someone that things are moving quickly. If they're looking for a new job, likely that, that newness is going to happen quickly. If something's been a, kind of a burden, they've been carrying something, and they're starting to feel maybe there's a better opportunity, they're right, because that 10 means that something is ending to bring in a new beginning. And that, my friends, is the Wheel of Fortune. Send me some comments. Tell me what you think. And thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like button and subscribe. See you in the next video.